Will he be angry forever? Will he be the indignant to no end? Excuse me, indignant to the end? Behold, you have spoken. You've done all the evil that you could. And then verse 19 of the same chapter, I said, How would I set you among my sons and give you a pleasant land, a heritage, beautiful among all the nations? And I thought you would call me my father. It would not return from following me. Because we know God is these things, we owe Him our devotion, our obedience, our love. Jesus, like I said at the beginning, deserves our loving obedience in everything because He is always best. Last book of the Old Testament, the book of Malachi. Chapter 1, verse 6, just the first half. A son honors his father and a servant his master. If I then am a father, where is my fear? If I then am a master, excuse me, if I am a father, where is my honor? If I am a master, where is my fear, says the Lord of hosts. This was spoken to priests who should have been leading the children of Israel by example in the right way. God is the Father to us. Where is our honor of Him? Where is our devotion to Him? We are called because we have the privilege of enjoying God's Lordship in our lives now because of Jesus Christ to give Him the devotion and love that He deserves. We've all dealt with varying kinds of leadership in our lives. Some of these leadership figures we have appreciated, though we knew their leadership would not remain. Others have been a nightmare. And we are glad when we see them go. Jesus is our final king. In his second incarnation, that rule will be with a rod of iron. It will be uncontested. All the world will see him as wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, and prince of peace. But he is these things to us now. And so we should be living these lives of dedication, of loving obedience, recognizing that his rule is always best. Father, you've sent us your son, and he demonstrated that he is capable of doing all of these things. He showed that he is God, and he is coming again. In the meantime, May we love him. May we be devoted to him, obedient, fervent, for surely he deserves it. Surely you do. And so I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Please stand with me as we sing the last verse of Silent Night. seat. I was going to call the whole Delich family up here, but I know that they wouldn't all appreciate that. <laughs> but from our church family to yours, thank you for all that you do, Pastor and family. Uh, we have here a gift for you, a card, as well as cash for you to use as you wish. We appreciate all the work that you do and the leadership that you provide for all of us in so many facets. Uh, there's more activities going on here than there were years ago, and we certainly appreciate all that you and your family pour into this church. So Merry Christmas from our church. Thank you so much, and praise the Lord for all the work that he does here. Now you're dismissed. Okay.